Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about an amazing library which is called as Text Blob. Now Text Blob is a simplified text pre-processing. So most of the pre-processing things that we usually do with the help of NLTK, with the spacey libraries, similar things can be actually done with this text blocks. You should definitely have a look guys and in this uh, I'm just going to take one example out of all this particular example we are going to see some of them and one of them is basically called as spelling check apart from spelling corrections guys we can do a lot of things see this uh, I hope you're following my uh, NLP playlist and there I've already shown you how to do various things how to how to basically perform bag of words TFIDF and all Similarly, in text blog, you have a lot of functionalities like tokenization, word and phrase frequencies, parsing, n-grams, word inflection, which is just like lemmatization, spelling correction, and a lot of things. Even word net integration is also there, so you should definitely have a look onto this. How to perform this tokenization, how to perform word net integration, word list, spelling corrections, uh, getting word, noun, and phrase frequency. Let's try to do some of the things inside this. Now, first of all, and you also have something like sentiment analyzers, you know, and again, it is a state of art algorithm. So probably it has been taken as a library itself. It has more than 7449 stars onto it. So let's try to do this and let's try to have a look before going ahead. What we are going to do is that we are just going to install a uh, pip install text blog. I think this is the spelling. I'm also doing it from the first time uh, and I'll try to do it in front of you. So let's see what is the installation command. In not write minus u probably with the help of text blog only it will be working so let's install it over here probably it will take some time and yes it has been successfully installed now what we are going to do is that uh, let me make a heading quickly saying as text blob okay so this is my heading and probably I'll also be giving you this uh, in my uh, github you know the entire notebook in my github so let's start with one simple example and probably I have taken this all you have to do is that I'll give this URL guys just go down okay and we'll try to see some of the examples uh, like uh, where is the spelling correction so here is the spelling correction and get word and noun phrase frequencies I think two things we will try to do one is spelling correction okay so first of all uh, as we begin uh, we basically have to um, import text blob so in order to import text blob so here you can see this is text blob that is basically being used you can also do word list and all this let's see where is text blog how do we import it and again I'm learning it along with you so nothing nothing I, I I'll definitely not feel shy to copy and paste it from the documentation page so in order to import uh, text blobs we will be importing from text blog import text blog after this all I have to do is that let's go back to the tutorial uh, probably the tutorial is here okay so here is one example it's simply they have written like this that is over here where they have given some statement saying that I have some good spelling and uh, after this uh, uh, there will be something statement like this and if I execute it and there are a lot of inbuilt keywords which is called as correct I hope it will work like this and you can see now it has got the right spelling I have a good spelling uh, so have was actually having double V good and spelling let's let's try something else let's try uh, something like machine uh, learn me okay and suppose I say frequency okay something like this let's see machine uh, machine is perfect learn uh, instead of many let, let's see I in if I try to do this and again if you go and see this so it's working absolutely fine guys you can also see frequencies got converted to frequency so it is actually giving a good uh, amazing things okay so let me do one thing let me just take Wikipedia okay good let me let me just go and see APJ Abdul Kalam okay in Wikipedia okay because I just want to pick up some bigger text okay so let's uh, hear his story so I'm just going to copy this probably uh, Kalam was elected this 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 and I hope if you know about uh, APJ Abdul Kalam guys I'm a huge fan of him uh, he's the former Indian president he's no more and uh, you know amazing personality I definitely learn a lot of things from him you know by his simplicity and all right amazing personality okay so we are just going to take some examples let's see what all things can be fixed into this probably I'll just take this much okay and I'll remove this over here let me uh, just remove one two one two words like this opposition and then 
ruling and probably SUPP um, president I'm just taking some examples guys just to check out how it performs well or not so here I'm just going to copy this entire thing over here and probably I will be getting like this it's okay we'll fix this okay we'll fix this and uh, let's see where the issue is coming okay let me use triple quotes okay let me just use triple quotes so this will get fixed okay so usually for multi-line uh, sentences we usually use triple quotes so that will be executed now if i do b dot correct uh, so uh, forget about this particular word i think uh, it is not con correctly telling about the noun itself it's a name so was elected with the president of uh, uh, I think there is also sent sentence which you can ignore, you know, so tokenizer is there, analyzer is there, parser is there, classifier is there, and again, you need to just check it out, guys, so many parameters, and if you have the basic NLP knowledge, like text preprocessing, I think you will be able to execute it, but you can see this name has actually become calm, you know, so obviously we know that it is APJ Abdul Kalam, uh, but over here, just considering it, that as we say that always there is some kind of error. So it did not consider it as a name so it has basically got this okay and then you can see with the support of both the rune okay this has become rune uh, it was ruling uh, uh, Bhatia Janta party but it had become rune so let me just make it correct uh, because probably it look uh, odd okay uh, so ruling Bhatia Canada party okay Janta has become Canada again I think it is not being able to consider the words uh, like names and all it is not able to do that then then opposition opposition has become perfect indian national congress widely refers to as people president so president also i had made some mistake i guess uh, refer yes it, it looks almost good you know it's it looks almost good apart from the names and all and obviously when it considers the name it is going to give you some kind of issues okay let's let's see some more things uh, like uh, i think we we had already seen this you know uh, there is also called as uh, word and noun phrases so this will look good uh, if we just use uh, word counts okay you'll be able to find out the word counts like how many number of words are there in this case sensitive and all everything you'll be able to do uh, get word and noun phrases i think that this is pretty much simple okay you also have upper you have a lot of functionalities altogether um, this is good uh, because you can see this uh, ng grams it takes a combination of various word list you know so ng gram is also there you can just copy and try it out all these things guys and obviously we all do use this in sentiment analysis i found out this amazing thing but yes this was just an example of spelling checker which i really wanted to show it to you uh, so that you'll be able to see this so let's see uh, if i write artificial uh, intelligence i'm probably making some mis uh, mistakes guys okay intelligence okay so if i go and see artificial intelligence it's, it looks amazing right so just try it by yourself uh, first of all make sure that you install it and again i think I'll, i don't have to give you this uh, notebook file but have a look it has a lot of examples probably if you want also have a look on sentiment analyzer you can basically so it, it uses this name bias analyzer so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed and guys please do have a look on text blog it is having a lot of functionalities it will be good for you whenever you're working on some of the amazing things in machine learning, right? So yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.